Yeah. Oh my god. Did you just see that? Mo Farah from Great Britain just won the 10,000 meters. <sighs> wow. As if he just done that. You know, the first Briton, the first athlete from Great Britain to come out and win the 10,000 meters. It's been waiting a hell of a long time for a Great Britain Olympian to actually win gold at the um, at the 10,000 meters. And Mo Farah is just an incredible athlete that has just done that. And it's been an all-rounder tonight, especially in athletics. It's been a wonderful day for Team GB in the athletics. We saw Mo Farah just now win the 10,000 metres in the actual wall, in the actual Olympic Park Stadium in Stratford, home turf. Crad has been amazing tonight in the actual park, in the actual stadium, all behind Team GB. And um, it's produced, I think it's mainly to do with the atmosphere and also the willpower to do with the athletes. Their crowd is behind them. It gets their adrenaline going and they just feed off of it. Um, we also saw Jessica Ennis, which I've done in the previous video, win gold in the, heptef in the heptathlon, which covered so many various events. And she particularly done well in the 100 metres and the 800 metres. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And also we had another gold in the long jump. Um, just another collection of medals to add to Team GB's medal tally table and um, well we are now in third position I'm not saying that we're going to catch up with the with China or the US that is far from happening no doubt about it but hopefully we can stick with this third place position we also have sailing tomorrow um, hopefully Team GB could produce good athletes in the sailing but oh my gosh Mo Farah Pulled it out of the bag. There was big expectation on him. Even though we saw Rebecca Adlington not perform as well as we thought she would in, uh, like compared to Beijing where she won gold. Um, and But this time she won bronze. But what an outstanding day for the track and field athletes today. And um, hopefully we can see more golds from them. There's been a lot of stick in the media to do with Team GB and how they've been losing and all that stuff before they won their first gold in the rowing with the pairs rowing. Um, but yeah, I think that all needs to stop. And Team GB are finally showing um, great enthusiasm as well as, um, a, a, well, basically a position to win. They was actually, they've, all they've been doing is trying very, very hard. We see Usain Bolt today as well in Jamaica, um, board starting for Jamaica um, in the 100 metres. And we have great, great British athletes in there that could actually, well, Put, give Usain Bolt a run for his money maybe as he said he's 95% fit but then we do also have these um, Jamaican teammates like Yusuf Powell um, which could actually clinch that 100 metres final um, which is tomorrow I do believe but um, yeah what a great day for great British athletics and hopefully more to come within the next following days looking forward to seeing Tom Daly in his individual diving event on the 10th and the 11th of this month but um, yeah, I do recommend also, I'm just saying if you are actually in London, I do recommend going to BT London Live. I did actually go there myself. Terrific, terrific event. Um, loads of big screens, of tremendous atmosphere as well. People from all over the world, um, seeing as it's the Olympic Games, have come to London. And there's a great, great presence of lovely people in BT London Live, and especially in Hyde Park as well. I went to Hyde Park, tremendous atmosphere. Loads of stuff to do for the kids. Family day out, you know what to do. It's all good free of charge to get in as well um but yeah it's been me mr dj zedge follow me on twitter at mr dj zedge like me on facebook dj zedge add me on skype zedge mma and keep on watching london 2012 terrific games michael phelps just finished off his career as well currently going at the moment is great britain versus korea um hopefully great britain can come through but if korea win um not really a big deal korea have deserved to win that football game i do believe but um, Great Britain, hopefully. So, yep. Yeah. See you all later, guys. And we'll be doing a UFC on Fox review, which will be up tomorrow morning. And um, until next time, guys. Bye. See ya.